Uh, my name is John, and uh, I had a near-death experience in 1998. I was 23 years old at the time. Uh, at the time, I was uh, sort of a, a spiritual or religious skeptic, I guess. I've always been a very logical, uh, mathematical thinking person. Um, didn't really think much about religion or spirituality at the time. Um, uh, and was get in a car accident, and I was given a choice to whether I wanted to come back or not. I, the one thing that I do know that at five, from there on, I definitely was aware of both worlds. I was uh, very much knew about spirits and different energies around, and I thought that everyone else could see them when they couldn't. Started going down the rapids. We hit a big boulder that caused the raft to go perpendicular, and I went out. It was the only one. Uh, even when I went out, I thought I was in for a great adventure, but within just moments, I knew I was in big trouble. I, just, I knew uh, uh, once I couldn't make it to the surface that I was going to die. I waited for it to happen, and it was just moments, and suddenly I was just somewhere else. And the next thing I remember was being in a whole different place. And I can't even tell you that there were walls where I was. There was just this incredible iridescent light and these tall, tall beings. And perhaps they looked tall because I was two and everybody looks tall when you're two, but I've never seen anybody that tall in my life except an NBA basketball player since then. It was a really terrible, terrible experience. I, I laugh about it now because it's been 13 years, but I was very depressed for a long time when I came back and very frightened about dying again, and I didn't want to go there. And, but it was a very good experience in that I learned a lot that I've been able to share with people, and one of the things is we may think we get away with stuff here on Earth, but we don't. And I agree with David. God doesn't uh, condemn us, we condemn ourselves. Uh, they keep trying to wake me up, ask me who my dad, my mom. I had a bad head concussion, obviously. Uh, and so for me on the inside, it was just like sleeping. And then when we got to the hospital, um, they were cutting all the clothes off of me to see what kind of damage they had to deal with. And they kept trying to wake me up. And so I was brought back again. But after that, uh, I went into a coma, finally and was able to experience um, paradise, warmth, uh, love, far beyond what we call love. Um, every beauty you can imagine, possibly imagine, and way beyond that. Um, I was a person that always wanted to know everything so I just asked a lot of questions, and it was a lot about, we're told at a young age that we're all aspects of some higher divinity, but actually in the other realm, you are it. You feel it, you know it to be a truth, and um, you learn that you are the creator of everything, and you help create mountains, you help create rivers, you help create everything in this reality and many other realities. And we're playing this little game with ourselves called being a human being and that we are the strong ones that want to go on this adventure called life on earth. And the, the strange thing about it is we go into this place of we forget who we really are. And, um, and this became sort of a, a life review to me. I started to see the events of my life uh, coming back to me. And at the same time, I began to have a, a conversation with this person um, I began to understand right away, right away. I think I, I knew uh, as soon as I, as soon as I, you know, scanned up and, and, and recognized this person, I knew right away that this, uh, to me, was God. I knew right away. And, 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 and actually, the, the feeling that I had at the time was more that this was my best friend ever, anywhere. It wasn't so much that it was God in the biblical sense or something, but that it was, it was the, my best friend. And it was so good to see this person again. I could not believe that I was seeing this person again. And uh, we just caught up for a moment or two, and it was just a lot of fun to, to see this person. And uh, 
then I began to realize, and we, we, as we had this conversation, uh, um, God began to express to me, uh, you know, what you're going through right now is kind of serious. 